Hey guys, I'm making Noah's orange cake. He said that he wanted an orange cake. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I'm making his orange cake. He wanted everything orange. I want to try to get like some orange um, things. Like um, I could, I went to a Dollar Tree and I couldn't find anything orange. Like this is the only orange thing that I found. I was so surprised because Whenever you're not making or needing orange, you find it everywhere. But now Noah's obsessed with Hot Wheels and he wanted a Hot Wheels birthday party. We can't have nobody come over. So we just try to make it as special as possible. So and then I got these also from the Dollar Tree, which I thought was really awesome to get your decorations and a lot of little things to make like projects and stuff like that for the kids, which I'm really excited about. And they're more excited. But when I see they're all over my house, I mean, there's paint all over my house. Do you want to see? <laughs> there's like they've been doing their little their little art projects and I told myself instead of going out and buying like Easter stuff we do have Easter stuff in the garage but I said you know what since the kids are gonna be doing their art projects we do our project every day um, let them put it up around the house this is halos these are like some flowers they love anything that has to do with paint and glue and making a mess yeah seriously making a mess and <laughs> this one's Noah's so, you know, they've been doing little projects. We're going to paint his name on it. Little thinker there. He did that himself. So, if you need somebody to decorate for you, please. My children are available to send you anything you like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this one is Noah's as well. So, these are all things that we got, like, from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, I just been trying to make it as fun as possible for the kiddos. So right now everybody is sleeping in the living room and there's confetti all over the floor. I got like all these balloons and Halo popped one of them and um, they brought confetti and they were like six for a dollar. They were amazing at the Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, go to Dollar Tree, it's so amazing. So Noah's been just having a blast and just letting them, you know, I've been wanting to sweep this up forever because it's driving me insane in the midbrain. <laughs> But I'm like, oh my gosh, this is his birthday. He really enjoys to see the confetti there. You know, we can't have a birthday party right now. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna leave it. But as soon as the sun starts going down, that is gonna get swooped up. <laughs> so he's been playing with like all his like his presents and his Hot Wheels stuff. So I just been kind of letting it be like that for a little bit, but I cannot wait to clean it up. Like, oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> Not that there's time. There's like so much time to do all that. So, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of cool to kind of talk to you guys and yeah, that's, I love lunches right there. <laughs> that's my whole little get up right there. We're letting the cakes cool off and you know, just doing it at home. <laughs> so I kind of don't know what's going on <clears throat> with my job. I don't know what's gonna happen with that more art projects over there on the fridge um i don't know what's going on with that i mean now i just have to be a stay-at-home mom which my husband is kind of happy about that um i'm not <laughs> i mean i i think it's great but i miss my job i miss my co-workers i miss my guests that i love so much um i just miss all of it but i really enjoy this moment spending time with my kids and um, us spending time together and eating on the table together, not getting home when the sun goes down. Um, I think that's great. That's been one amazing thing that I really, really like about that. Um, but, oh my gosh, I went to the store yesterday for like the first time and I don't know, like maybe a week or something. I want to tell you that I was so scared. I mean, I was like terrified. I was really scared of just, I think the thing that made me scared, the most scared was seeing people with gloves and seeing people with masses with the little breathing thing that I want so bad, <laughs> but I can't find it. Um, yeah, I, I think that's the part that kind of freaked me out a little bit was that, you know, the last time I went out, it wasn't like that. A little bit but not really but now it's like the realness is like kind of stepping in and I went to a store uh, um, Latin store called El Super 
and um, they had like at the register, they had like this little glass thing, which I think is a great idea. You know, it protects the employees. So I think that's great. Um, but I just, you know, it just, it was surreal to me. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a real thing. I mean, I knew it was real, don't get me wrong, but I mean, to see it firsthand was like, oh my goodness, this is, this is real. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, that was the experience that I had. And I kind of felt that I just wanted to not get too close to people kind of thing. Um, I went looking for gloves. I couldn't find them. I found kitchen gloves at the Dollar Tree. And I found four packs of kitchen gloves that brought one glove each. And I picked off four of them up. No, I got three. Um, I, I got three of them. I left one just in case somebody needed it. Um, and two were completely new, but they were all kind of open, but you can tell nobody put their head in it, but one of them you can tell somebody tried it on or something, so I put that one back, and when I went to go get the other one to <laughs> kind of put that one back and get the other one, somebody already took it, but I was like just so grateful that I found those gloves because I can't get gloves anywhere now. So I just kind of went around and did my shopping with my pink um, house gloves on. And I don't know, I just, my hand got a little sweaty, but it was really, you know, I just feel a little bit more protective. I just wish I had one of those little masses. I don't know, like, I don't know, do you guys use masses when you go out? Do you use gloves? What do you use? Where did you get it from? Um, leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> I know a lot of us would like to know that. So, yeah, so it was a little bit interesting. Um, but, I don't know, I just wanted to hang out with you for a little bit, let you know what's going on with me. Um, before, I feel like I didn't have a lot of time to kind of invest in my videos and things like that and now I feel like I have a little bit more time which is great and I'm starting to meet more people on YouTube amazing ladies and I'm gonna post some of the ladies that I follow maybe you would like to follow them too because they're amazing and some even some of the fellas and maybe it's someone that you so happen to like as well and you can follow them too that would be amazing so yeah so I don't know <laughs> I just wanted to hang out with you and tell you about myself. So look out for my videos. They're going to come out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So on Monday, I'll be doing my lunch video. And on Wednesday, I'll be doing maybe like a cleaning video or a decorating video or something in the home. Organizing. And then Friday, I'm going to do my what's for dinner. And we're going to go from there. And on Saturday and Sunday, maybe if I venture out to the store or anything like that and take footage of anything, then, you know, Friday is kind of like just, I mean, on the weekend, it will just be like a surprise kind of thing, like if I post a video. But I'm excited about that. I'm excited to have like a schedule down again. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys to death. I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers. And I love you guys a lot. And I admire so many of you ladies out there and all of the people that are risking their life, the doctors and nurses and even the people that drop off food, pick up food, the grocery people, the people that are making the food, you know, everybody that has a hand on helping us and wanting to, you know, continue to help their families and help others. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are amazing. And I just pray that God gives you great favor in the name of Jesus and watch over you and your family. And you are just so amazing. In the name of Jesus, amen. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>